Hello, good day viewers. Here is question number 11 of YAC 2023 mathematics examination. It consists of A and B parts. And the first question is related to regular polygons, while the second one involves a cycle. All right, let's start with the first one. The first question reads, two regular polygons P and Q are such that the number of sides of P is twice the number of sides of Q. The difference between the exterior angles of P and that of Q is 45 degrees. We are asked to find the number of sides of P. And the second question here reads, the area of semicircle is 32 pi cm squared. We are asked to find in terms of pi the circumference of the semicircle. All right, let's start with the first one. We have the A part. Um, if a polygon is regular, all its side lengths must be equal and all the interior angles must also be equal. So let the number of sides in Q be equal to N. So let the number of sides of Q be N. Therefore, the sides of P will be 2N because the question stated that P is twice the number of sides of Q. So therefore... The number of sides of P is what? 2N because Q is N, therefore P will be 2N. All right, having done this, we need to find the exterior angle of each of P and Q. To find the exterior angle of any regular polygon, all you have to do is to take 360 degrees and divided by the total number of sides. So we have, let me start with uh, Q, X studio, angle of Q is equal to 360 degrees divided by N. Then what about P, X studio, angle of p will be equal to 360 degrees divided by 2n which can be reduced to 180 degrees divided by n all right and it further stated that the difference between the exterior angles of p and q is 45 degrees so if we take this and subtract this we are going to get 45 degrees therefore 360 degrees divided by n minus 180 degrees divided by n must be equal to 45 degrees we have common denominators therefore we can say that 360 minus 180 divided by n is equal to 45 degrees 360 minus 180 is still 180 divided by n equal to 45 we're going to make n the subject Therefore, n will be 180 divided by 45 degrees, which is equal to 4. And hence, n is equal to 4. Four sides, right? But what is this four sides? Remember, n represents the number of sides of Q. But the question is asking us to find the number of sides of P, which is twice n. Therefore, we conclude... the number of sides of p is equal to 2n therefore this is equal to 2 multiplied by 4 which is equal to 8 sides it means that that regular polygon p has 8 sides we have just answered this question now let us move on to the second one the B part reads, the area of semicircle is 32 pi cm squared. Find in terms of pi, the circumference of the semicircle. The circumference means we should find the length of that semicircle. Let me draw the semicircle first. So we're talking about B. We have semicircle like this, half of a circle. The area is 32 pi cm squared remember the area of a cycle area of cycle is equal to pi r squared but since we are talking about semi that is half we divide by two 
and hence the area of semicircle is pi r squared divided by 2 but the area is given as 32 pi which is equal to pi r squared divided by 2 i would like to find the radius you see pi cancel pi you multiply both sides by 2 32 times 2 is um, 64 therefore r squared is equal to 64 take square root of both sides to find r you don't have to add plus or minus because this is a length all lengths are positive and square root of 64 is 8 and hence the radius of the cycle is 8 centimeters all right so now how can we find the length to find the circumference we need to find this distance as well as the distance here the length of the curve and to find the length of the curve you know uh, circumference of a cycle let me use right here circumference of a cycle is given as what 2 pi r but since this is half a cycle we divide by 2 and hence the semicycle uh, just this curve without the diameter will be pi r and because we want to find the total we have to include the diameter plus d and this d you know is 2 r two radius will make one diameter so now let us substitute everything here to find the circumference c will be equal to remember they say we should leave the answer in terms of pi so all we have to do is to multiply pi with r r is 8 you can see that here so we have 8 pi plus 2 r and r is 8 again 2 times 8 is 16 finally the circumference will be equal to 8 pi plus 16 altogether centimeters and hence this is the solution to the second part thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos now let us move on to question number 12